Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Savannah. For those of you who are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark and today I have an unboxing that I'm very excited about. Also a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. Um, so this is an unboxing from ThreadUp and this is, I guess, a new box. I don't think they've ever sold this before. Um, I have bought smaller variations of this box, but it is a 15 piece, it's really big, designer um, box. It's not supposed to be DIY designer like the boxes typically are, which means the items will have small flaws. It was not listed that way, but we'll see. So spoiler alert, this box did end up being predominantly flawed items. Some of them were designer and some I would consider like lower end designer, but um, after going through my box, 9 out of 15 items ended up being flawed, and I will insert pictures of the flaws that I found after unboxing um, this box here. Well, I'll add them when I show the item. Um, but I did end up contacting ThreadUp and was less than pleased with their response. I felt very misled with the advertising of this box, especially when it is being sold at a higher price point than their typical designer DIY boxes, and it was not described as a designer DIY box, but I'll talk about that at the end. See, um, there very well could be some flawed items in here. I don't know. We'll see. I hope not. The price point of this box was high. It was a $300 box for 15 pieces of designer clothing. So that is a decent amount of money for an essentially a giant mystery box. Um, but my friend Denali El Ducho, I'm sure you all know who she is, but if you don't, definitely go follow her. She'll be doing a similar video unboxing her box. Um, she messaged me and let me know that these new boxes were on sale, so I'm very thankful for her. And of course, I had to buy one just to see what it's all about. So it could be a $300 mistake. We'll see. Um, I have purchased in the past the smaller boxes. Like I said, those are $90 for five. I want to say it was five items. So yeah, a little bit cheaper per item, but those are supposed to have flaws. This hopefully their items without flaws because they're $20 a piece. So, um, and my past designer thread up rescue boxes. I've had at least one item in each box that's made it worth it, um, that I've been able to at least double my money spent on the box. So I'm hoping there's at least a couple items in here that will make me money. So we'll see. If not, it's fun. <laughs> and yeah, it's, uh, it's an experience. So this box is huge. I'm going to open it. Hopefully not destroy anything inside. Um, so another thing, this box did come from Pennsylvania, which um, I feel like most of these boxes probably did. Typically when I order rescue boxes um, or like the designer boxes, they come from Phoenix just because that's closer to me because I'm in Colorado. Um, but opening these boxes is always a challenge, <laughs> especially on camera. Um, but yeah, this one's from Mechan Mechanicsburg. Pennsylvania, so we'll see. See if it's good to me. I've watched a couple unboxings so far of these on YouTube. And they seem like they've been pretty good, um, but there's definitely like a couple items in there that I would not consider designer, so I'm interested to see what is in here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very interested to see what kind of stuff is in here. Hopefully, no long chomp bags or coach. Hopefully, I'm not jinxing myself. <laughs> Um, so yeah, here's the receipt, $300, uh, rescue box, designer brands, please be good to me. <laughs> we got the nice, nice tissue paper. Okay, the first thing looks really interesting, I'm intrigued. Okay, uh, <laughs> don't know what the brand is yet, but that's fun, it's like a little holographic, it's like a scuba material. Um, okay, this is like a lower end designer brand, but Kate Spade Saturday. Um, that's not very exciting, but <laughs> I would not probably pay $20 for this. But that's okay. It's interesting. It's 
Somebody will want it, hopefully. It reminds me of like a like Xenon, the 21st century like space girl thing. Okay. Not super thrilled about that. That's okay. It looks like a majority. And I do see a long shot bag. So. <laughs> okay, we're off to a s swimming start. Uh, what are you? Okay, this brand is expensive. I've actually never sold it in women's. I don't know if these are women's, even though they're very bright and crazy. But I like finding this brand for men. It's Brioni. And these are size 46. I think these are women's. But they're cute. Just a pair of like chino pants. But again, I don't think I'll make that much on these. I just sold a Brioni dress shirt for like $28. Um, these I could probably get like in the $30 to $40 range, but since I paid $20 for them, <laughs> eh, that's not that great, but all right. Hoping it gets better. Okay, we'll just pull this, uh, this out right now. <laughs> Longchamp bag. Yay, everyone's always thrilled to find these. And this one, it looks a little, uh, looks actually very fake to me. I don't know if you'll be able to see like the detail on the button, but this does not look real to me. But these ones can be kind of challenging sometimes. Sorry if you hear my dogs. I don't think this is real. I'll have to do a little bit more research, but I will definitely be contacting them about this if it is fake, which I kind of think it is. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> this is an exciting video already. Um, okay, this is fun. This is a Prada Milano little knit uh, short sleeve like sweater shirt cute what size are you well, the size tag is cut out so that doesn't help me but it's small I mean I would assume this is like an extra small small but I don't know because there's not a size tag all right can only go up from here right okay this um, is a brand <laughs> that, I mean, I sell this, but I, honestly, I'll probably send this to ThreadUp just because it doesn't sell very well for me and it does tend to sell a little bit better on ThreadUp. It's Millie of New York and this is a linen cap sleeve dress. It's cute. It's just not like, yeah, it is designer. I'll give them that, but it just doesn't resell that well. Which they never made that promise, so I guess, <laughs> yeah. Um, but hopefully, hold on. <laughs> I was gonna say hopefully, I thread up will take it, but this looks like it's flawed. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you can tell. Like, it looks like it's unhemmed at the bottom. It has like a raw hem. I do not think it's supposed to look like that. Uh, you can kind of see where it's like supposed to be folded. This is annoying. <laughs> My excitement is slowly diminishing, but okay. Let's see here. Okay. These are Versace jeans, which is good. And these, I have sold these before. These do look legit even though some of the tags look, they kind of look like tacky, but I sold a legit pair and they looked very similar. So Versace, I got the, um, I don't know how to pronounce that, but expensive stuff has this tag in it usually. Um, yeah, they're just like a yellow jean, but they do have quite a bit of staining. No, I don't know if you're even going to be able to see that. There's like some staining there, some on the back. 
Oh, there's some staining on the front. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, that's cool. For lack of a better word uh, that I can say on YouTube. Okay, well, this item has a tag from the real reel on it, so it must have gotten sent to thread up once it didn't sell on the real reel, which is not a great. Okay, I was gonna say that's not a great sign for me, but I love this brand, so I'm not mad, <laughs> mad about it as I drop it on the floor. Probably the most expensive thing that I've uh, unboxed. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, where'd you go? So this is the brand Etro, which I love selling this brand. Um, and this is a really pretty dress. So this is definitely the most exciting thing so far. It's gorgeous. What size are you? Um, Oh, I think it actually said on the Etro tag. <laughs> Where'd it go? Size 42. Yeah, this is really pretty. Jeez, okay. So I'm not mad about that. So far, that's definitely the best thing that's been in here. Oh, what is this? This is interesting feeling. Okay, this is Marc Jacobs which is not really a brand I'm super excited about, but it'll probably go right back to thread up. <laughs> so, um, it's interesting. It's kind of like a little gothic, like dress. It has like a corset kind of down the back. This is the more expensive Marc Jacobs though. It's not the Marc by Marc Jacobs, so. Okay. Oh man, there's already not that much left. I'm getting worried. Um, okay, this is a Tory Burch top. It's kind of dusty and dirty, but it's like a very basic, like mock neck long sleeve. Yeah, there's like a lot of dust on this. Jeez. Um, then it has like a little zip on the back. Yep, also has the logo over here. So honestly, for like a $20 piece, not very exciting. <laughs> it is Tory Burch. Will I make a lot of money on it? No. Um, oh, this is interesting. Okay, this is a Marc Jacobs, like denim. <laughs> oh, this looks dated. <laughs> it's a denim purse. <laughs> like studded uh almost looks like yeah it looks like a pair of jeans look at that yikes okay <laughs> i almost thought this was like a free perfume sample bag but it is mark jacobs um it has some wear on the studs i don't know if you'll be able to tell <sighs> yeah Okay, um, yeah, so this is interesting. <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone wants it, maybe not. Okay, on to the next. Oh, okay. Like, okay, this is cool, like it's a Prada card holder, but really, like, this considered an item okay it's cute honestly I might just keep it cuz I'm probably not gonna be able to make that much money off of it but okay I shouldn't have been dogging on this little Prada wallet so much cuz it actually ended up selling for $75 pretty quickly so probably the best item in my box yeah. <laughs> I'm disappointed if you can't tell I did get a couple pairs of shoes though so that is exciting um, I like this brand, but honestly, it has not sold very well for me recently, but these are cute. Um, this is a pair of Todd's little booties. They're in pretty good condition. Just need a little bit of a uh, leather conditioner, which I can do. But yeah, okay. I'm not mad about these. 
size 36. It's like a woman size six. So that's good. Okay. These are exciting too. Although they have a giant Sharpie mark <laughs> through the brand. So it's Manolo Blahnik, but yikes. Like the Sharpie's even on the shoe on that one. Um, they're cute. A little dated. Not in horrible condition besides that. I don't know. <laughs> it's like a giant mark, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I take this back. <laughs> Um, okay, so one of these is a size 38. One of these is a size 38 and a half. So, um, these are unsellable. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to contact them about a couple things in this box. The fake long shop, two different size shoes. Cool. All right. Lesson learned. <laughs> we'll not spend three hundred dollars on one of these boxes again. Okay. Um, these are cute. If they're the right size, same size. Let's check that first. Okay, this one doesn't have a size on the bottom, so they are Prada little like chunky um, sandals. Little sling back. I want to make sure there's. <laughs> The same size. I should check on those Todd's too. These are, okay. These are the same size. Yes, okay. So these are cute. I like the heel. They do have a little bit of wear, but nothing major. So, not mad about those, but. Oh, yikes. The rest of the box. Okay, this is the last thing. Like I just lit $300 on fire with half of these items, but that's okay. You live and you learn. Um, this is a pair of Tory Burch little like espadrille slide sandals. They're cute. Um, they look like they're in really good condition. And I'm not sure what size they are. Hmm. Well, that does not help me. <laughs> There's like no size. Usually it's printed on the inside, but there looks like there is no size. So, yikes. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> Let's just recap. I want to make sure I have like 15 items in here too. We'll see. Okay, so we got these Tory Burch um, slides with no size on them. They are in good condition though. I'll give them that. Prada shoes. Uh, two different sized Manolo Blahniks. <laughs> Um, Todd's, which I'm hoping are the same size. Let me check. Yep, okay, good. So what, we're at four items. This little Prada, tiny little, little thing. Five, it's Marc Jacobs bag. Six, Tory Burch top. Um, this Von Marc Jacobs dress. Eight. This I'm excited about. Um, an Etro Milano dress. It's nine. These really stained Versace jeans, which are probably, um, Probably gonna contact them about these. <laughs> what am I at? Nine? Oh man, I already lost my train of my train of thought, my train of count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Okay. Right. But definitely is fifteen in here. It's Millie dress. The hat is unhemmed at the bottom. Um, it's Prada top that is missing a size tag. This long shot bag, which looks very fake to me. I wish you could see like the detail on this main button, but usually that's a giveaway in this. I don't know. I don't know. Um, some Brioni pants. Which are like a fun coral color, but now I'm just like worried that they're staying somewhere and <laughs> I'm not seeing it. Because those Versace jeans were real messed up. But Brioni pants. And this Kate Spade Saturday. Like, space top. <laughs> Okay, so overall, um, obviously my impression is probably pretty crystal clear. <laughs> not very thrilled, but whatever. I guess you kind of go into this not knowing what you're going to get. Um, but I definitely will be contacting them about a couple items because this was not um, advertised as a designer DIY box. The items were $20 a piece. And some of these, well, one if they're fake is not worth $20. Um, or anything for that matter, but then some of them are just like pretty flawed, so not even sellable, especially the two different size shoes. Uh, that's an issue, <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully, um, they'll refund me for a couple of these items. I mean, yeah, when you buy any of these boxes, it's going to be a gamble, but when it's advertised as designer brands and not DIY designer and you're paying $300 for 15 pieces, I would kind of expect <laughs> that the stuff would be in better condition or at least be like legit and sellable, so. So I did end up reaching out to ThreadUp about the contents of this box. Um, it did take me about a week to get in contact with somebody. I sent them an email, actually a couple emails, and they never responded to them. I also contacted them on Instagram got no response. And so I ended up using the chat function on ThreadUp's website and finally got through to somebody. And I really wanted to come back to you guys with some good news and say that they made everything right. But unfortunately, they did not. Um, they stood behind the contents of this box and apologized to me that I did not understand the definition of a rescue box. Um, I definitely understand the definition of a rescue box. I've purchased multiple DIY boxes before that I know will have flawed items, but when I buy a box that has items that are $20 a piece, I do not expect almost all of them to be flawed or unsellable. They even stood behind the shoes being two different sizes and said that that is something that can be put in a rescue box. So unfortunately, I was offered no resolution. They did offer to refund the Longchamp bag, um, but that was about it. So I have to reach out to my credit card company. I actually am already doing that to file a credit card dispute for partial contents of the box. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, very disappointed in how it was handled. So my main issue with this box is how it was advertised. It was very misleading. Um, if you watch Denali's video, El Ducho, uh, she pointed out that ThreadUp offers a designer DIY box and then also this designer box at much different price points. The designer box is 15 items for $300, making it $20 per item, while the designer DIY box is $90 for seven items, making it about $13 a piece. And they clearly have different names, different price points, so you would assume the quality of the items would be completely different. But that was not the case. It's essentially a designer DIY box that I was sold at a much higher price point. And honestly, the items I received in this more expensive box were worse than some of my designer DIY boxes. You can see those videos on my channel. Um, I actually got better stuff in those boxes and paid a lot less per piece. So, yeah, that's what I'm really disappointed in. I just feel really misled and scammed, to be honest. 
Also, I have some YouTube friends that I'm sure you guys watch, Posh Boss Blake and El Ducho, Denali, who bought the designer boxes and had very similar experiences, both with the contents of the box and also with the customer service um, not helping them out. So it's very disappointing to say the least. Uh, I definitely would not recommend you spend your money on this box. Nope, don't do it. All right, <laughs> that's my review. Um, I don't, obviously I don't think I'd recommend you buying one of these boxes, but there's also been some people that have had fantastic boxes. So take my review as a grain of salt. Some of them are great, some of them suck. And that's kind of how thread up boxes go. <laughs> so I hope you guys are all having an amazing week and an amazing week of sales. All right, I'm gonna get some of this listed. Okay, bye.